This movie tells a story about Kira Woods, whose daughter mysteriously vanishes in the cellar of their new house. She soon discovers there is an ancient and powerful entity controlling their home that she will have to face or risk losing her family's souls forever. First of all, this haunted house movie is boring. It's a formulaic horror movie that doesn't do anything truly unique. The movie is too generic to be a memorable horror film. It fails to rise above countless other haunted house stories. The story is so rote and cliché and the characters are all stereotypical. It's a hackneyed horror movie. There are so many overused concepts in this movie that are in better haunted house movies. You can really do a checklist of all the ideas that are recycled in this film. The script is weak, the acting is mediocre, and the pacing is problematic. The movie begins with the family moving into their new home which has some strange decorative details. However, the family initially shrugs them off. It's clear that the movie relies on the typical haunted house cliches from the very beginning. Unfortunately, the movie doesn't capture the level of fear or suspense badly needed for this subgenre. Its non-descript movie title plays into the narrative, but in a way that is as short-sighted as the horrors in the house itself. The people living in the house stay much longer than most people would in real life, just so the terror in the movie can be stretched out in repetitive scenes. All of the house's rooms are predictably dark, as if everyone who's lived there couldn't be bothered to get a proper lamp or lighting that can illuminate more than certain corners of a room. The movie is so poorly written that when one of the kids goes missing, the parents appear to practically shrug and get back to work. It never shows them contacting any of their kids' friends to find out if these friends have seen her, which would be one of the first things that parents of a missing child will do. The actors often feel like they're just going through the motions. Most of the characters are underwritten and underdeveloped. The pacing is off, especially in the second act, and doesn't settle back in until the last 10 minutes or so. Most of the movie's jump scares just aren't very scary, and they lack originality. There's decent twists in the ending, but it just doesn't make up for the struggle that is the rest of the movie. Overall, this movie is simply dull. There are better haunted house movies out there that you can spend your time with. We do not recommend this movie at all.